today we are at Sunny Mountain Preserve in search of the two historic gold mine tunnels. Let's go find them. In 1829, the second gold rush had occurred, located in northern Georgia, which was started when a man found a chunk of the shiny yellow metal in a river in Haversham County. By 1895, two Atlanta men named Hampton and Herman acquired 12 land lots totaling 480 acres on and near Sawney Mountain on both sides of what is now known as Bettis Triple Gap Road with the intent of mining gold. Fifteen men were employed in this effort, of whom which three were employed at night to ensure no one would try to take the claim from them. A once tiny stream was used for a sluice box, panning at the place of mines located throughout the property. A portable stamp may have been used to extract the gold from the ore. Due to the amount of labor required to extract the gold, the men tried obtaining a hydraulic system that was used in other areas, but while waiting, their lots were called into question, and they abandoned the project altogether. The two mine shafts located here on the mountain are the only known evidence of their existence today. This trail that we're currently on shows the area where the sluice was used and what areas was known as the river where they were doing their mining as you can see here
All right, it looks like we found the first of the two gold mines here. You can see the bars there. Now, back when they had these gold mines, they didn't do any major excavation of gold because of the cost factor involved. So since then, they put up a wood structure over here to support a chain that keeps the metal bars over it. A little bit of history from back during the gold rush. Now we will head back to see where the other gold mine entrance is here at Sunny Mountain Preserve.